Hey guys, this is Adam and I'm playing some Daisy. I've actually played this game a hell of a lot before and I'm surprised I actually made a video about it because most of my older videos seem to be obsessed with Armour 2 and Zombie Mods. So, yeah, like I said, it's really surprising that I actually haven't made a video of it. I've played it quite a lot. I wouldn't say I, I'm amazing at it, but I sh do have my fair share of um, experience of it. However, though, I haven't played on a recent update. I haven't played in a couple of months, if I'm honest. I actually have no idea what that gun symbol means. Um, I know what the rest means, and on this server we seem to be starting with a lot of equipment. I actually have a crowbar, a ton of food, and drink, and bandage. In fact, let's have a look. Yeah, so we've got, we've got a lot of stuff. We've got some bullets, and, and we've got a flashlight. So, it's a little more forgiving than, say, the last certain time I actually played when you start with nothing but a flashlight and some bandages if I remember rightly. I don't, I don't even know if you started with bandages but yeah that was pretty horrible. So if, if you didn't find a weapon quick you die. But yeah I've started in... fucking hell I thought that was a zombie I shit myself then. Um, started in um, Chinaris. Not Chinaris. Chirna. Um, just looting around. I prefer, um, I prefer to take the sneaky sneaky approach. I don't see why people run around. It looks sort of effective if you've got a machine gun and you can outrun them and you can just outsmart them. But some, when you've just got a crowbar, you know, I take the slower approach. I think about things. I look at the current situation, think, is should I? Like now, for example, there's like four zombies on the street and there's a few there. And who knows, it could probably be some in the building. So we don't want to alert any of them zombies. And what I always used to hate about this is sometimes you'll try and crawl into a building and you just stand up. So we're gonna take this slowly. Ooh, look at that. Not double barreled shotgun, loud but effective, from what I remember. See what we got here. Could do it more slugs. Oh, let's get some pellets. A box of matches. Oh, and look, we have a pistol. No. Wait. What pistol? Ah, the Makarov. It's decent, but for now, we'll use it for now. For the main. For the fact that um, it doesn't draw as much aggro as the shotgun. So, oh shit. That didn't track anything, did it? Anyway, continuing on. So, already, <laughs> I seem to be doing quite well. I find myself some decent weaponry. Two types of weaponry, actually a pistol and a shotgun. So unless I run into any bandits or anything, I should have enough supplies to run up north and get out of the city. Right, let's just crawl over here, hope none of them see me. I do, I do like how the fact that if any of you have played DayZ for quite a long time, when you first got it, if a zombie was chasing you, you pretty much weren't going to lose them unless you ran up a steep hill or something like that, or you killed them. It was so frustrating, and it's just nice now that they actually can lose sight of you, and they'll, they'll kind of wander in the area that you were, but they won't still be chasing you. Because that was the annoying thing. I, I remember a time when... Oh, this building enterable. Nope. Sometimes there's loot in here, though. No. Stay still for a while, let that zombie roll past. Um, but yeah, there was a time when I had an um, M1911 and it was a one shot, one kill. It was such a brilliant pistol. Loved it. Re um, I was looting equipment for a car which I was nearby, which obviously needed repairs. And I managed to find half the equipment in there which I needed, so I decided to go in there. Unfortunately, a zombie spotted me, so I had to put him down. But <laughs> they just. Oh my god, this road's. Pretty dangerous. Across the road. 
should probably move on. There's too many zombies here for my liking. A little stop there. Hmm. It's quite hard to play this game on your own, but sometimes it is a little easier. Um, if I like explain, like sometimes you get some idiot who uh, dra drags your aggro. What's this? Engine parts. It takes too much space up, and I'm not really in the need of a car. Um, so yeah, like they can draw aggro, but it's, and they can also, if you don't really know them in real life, they might turn uh, turn around and just shoot you in the face. Like one of my friends who played this game, they managed ages ago. They managed to find a Winchester, and the other guy was just like, "Sorry, buddy," and shot him straight in the face. <laughs> it's a bit horrible, but you know, that's this game. I mean, when I first played this game, it, oh my God, I I just saw the fact that it was in Armor 2, which is one of my all-time favourite games. Um, it's unforgiving as hell. Like, it's really hard. It's, would, if, we, if you could imagine what a zombie outbreak would be like, this would be similar. It wouldn't be like some films where you just run around blazing. Oh shit. Sorry, that made me jump. Did he actually notice me? Fucking crawlers. Yeah. Shit, son. <laughs> Who can crawl faster? Ah, we're in a tight predicament here. When in doubt, fucking run. This is where the fun begins. Sprint, goddammit. Follow the train tracks. And hope no bandit picks me up my trail. Oh. Okay. Intro. Very interesting. Seems to have. Oh, maybe if I just run in here. Come on, keep running, keep running. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. So, after I lose these bastards. I, just, I swear you um, double tap W to sprint. Am I doing something wrong? Does it change? Oh, fuck, I thought it's right on my tail. At least I don't sprint as fast as they used to. Like, I play Daisy Zingle player quite a bit. And sometimes I'll just sprint at stupid speeds. And there's just no way that it's, they're really hard to shoot. No, they're really hard to run away from. I think I might have lost them. Right. It's about the time. So I managed to lose them. local building. So yeah, before I got horribly interrupted by that, I, <laughs> I only did that because to me I didn't really see any, any other option. If I waited there I would have been eaten alive. Let's make sure they're not hot on my ass. So yeah, as I was saying earlier, it, it's nice that you can actually lose them. I'm gonna go in that warehouse. Sounds like there might be a zombie in there. I don't want to use this double barrel shotgun unless I need to, though. Unless I'm in a tight spot. Because. Oh, I think there's definitely a zombie in there. Shit. Shit. Panicking again. <laughs> Can anyone hear the Benny Hill theme going on there? <laughs> right, shit. Quickest way out of here is this gate. Oh my god, there's a lot of zombies out. Go, go, go. No, don't want. No. Right. To the woods. To the woods. It's fine anyway. I've got all the supplies I need. Which is good. I've got a weapon, a pistol. I don't really need to stay in a city. Man. Don't really need to stay in a city for much longer. I don't. I might come back to the city. But then again, cities are normally bandit haven, and I don't particularly like going into them because they're extremely risky. Right. From here, I'll probably just shoot them. But then again, I want to conserve ammunition. <laughs> Breaking bones by running into trees. I suppose in real life, if you did run into a tree, you could break something. Are they on me? 
Alright, let my guy relax. Let's scout the situation from the woods, see if we can actually find some lootable buildings out right here. I remember um, one playthrough, I was doing awesome. I managed to find a abandoned helicopter, had an M16 aim, love that weapon. And then um, after that I found another one. <laughs> so I wiped out all the zombies around the helicopter with the um, M16 aim. And then I managed to find myself a DMZ and I was like, yes, because that at the time was the best PVP sniper rifle. And you know, <laughs> I was walking and I had loads of magazines from it because at the last helicopter I had loads of DMR mags. So I was walking around, walking through the woods, all smug, heavily packed on food, ammo, weapons, and you know, at the time, it was it was perfect. It was the best I've ever um, done on there. And then <laughs> a server glitch happened. It flung me straight into the air, um, at least as uh, high as these trees, and I just all over the chat was just like, what the fuck? And everyone died at once. Everyone on the server got flung up in the air. I lost, I was just, at first I disconnected. I was I refused to believe it. And I was hoping I could connect and it would just drop me off. Like a little lighter where I might break a bone but not kill me. But then I died. Oh, so I, ra I rage quit Daisy after that for a while. Because, you know, did rather well and then it all just ended. Yeah, I prefer to find a Winchester, but I've heard um, Winchesters have also been changed. Like, they're a lot louder now than the less OP, which is a shame. I used to love that weapon. But double barrel shotgun. I've never really used one, like I said. My friend has used one, we, but I was right next to him, and it sounded loud, and a lot more aggro came. Uh, that was fun time. Being stuck in a house. Zombies spotted us. <laughs> well, luckily, I had loads of Winchester ammo and he had his pistol. And we were just unloaded on them, uh, but I must have killed a hundred of them at least. But they just kept on coming. And we eventually, we just died. Is that a farm over there? Let's just look at my current situation. I've got three Pepsi bottles and two foods. Or pep, you know what I mean, drink. Got plenty of ammo for my shotgun. May as well pull out my shotgun in a place like this just in case. You don't want to, you know, bandits and shit. I feel like a true farmer now walking around across a field towards a barn with a double bowed shotgun. Or like Jason Bourne. Hmm. I have no idea where I'm planning on going. I have no plan for this character. I've just thought I'd jump into Daisy, play it again, enjoy it. You know, get back into it. For. I mean, like, I really enjoy it. It's horribly trolling sometimes. But it's constantly being updated. I hope they, when Armour 3 actually does come out, I hope they put it onto Armour 3. Because the idea of um, physics, well, just the, all the bonuses of Armour 3 and the lighting, everything's just going to be improved. And I can't wait for that. I mean, it would make the zombie outbreak seem a little bit more special, more realistic. That's of course if zombie outbreak happens in 2012, then, well, December, then we're all fucked. But who, who actually believes in a crazy theory anyway? Uh, yeah, I'm completely against people who believe 2012 Doomsday. I mean, even the Mayans themselves, the modern day Mayans, or the people who like, still follow that kind of cult, or whatever it is. See, I don't really know much about the Mayans. I know that they, they all got pretty much wiped out by the Spanish, but I swear there were still a few kicking somewhere. Um, but they were just basically laughing at the idea of the Doomsday Theory, it's just overhyped. I mean, if anyone lives in it, well, it was all over the world actually, when Swine Flu kicked around, everyone was all in the papers. For me it was just like, Swine Flu could be the end of the world, and this could, um, you know, that all these people have died from it, and it's, <laughs> the media just, perfect example of, blowing everything out of proportion. I mean, swine flu, I actually did get swine flu, and it lasted a week, and admittedly I was sick three times. One of those times I was laughing so hard from one of my friends when I was playing GTA 4, that I puked up. That was funny. But, um, there's nothing there, is there? But yeah, swine flu was massively exaggerated, and I got it, and it was, if anything, normal um, flu is a lot more worse and it actually killed, well it, does, it did kill a lot more people, um, but they said that it was going to be the end of the world and 
Oh god, someone on chat. Um, I said it was going to be in the end of the world, and it clearly wasn't. <laughs> it was pathetic. Then again, if anyone did lose their, um, any of their relatives or friends' lives to swipe, though, I am sorry. Uh, this is only my opinion of and what I've experienced. Because I, I know there are severe cases, but from what I read and knew, the people who mainly died from swine flu, swine flu, swine flu, were uh, old, um, old or very young, like toddlers, um, or just well infants in that, or they were, um, they already had some form of illness which weakened their immune system even further. So, you know, and but they, you know. They just put that on the paper as people have died. It's not normal, healthy people, really. Like people with strong immune systems, anyway. Like I said, I mean, I feel like I'll probably be offending hundreds of people right now, so I'll change the subject. <laughs> and it's yeah, there's been loads of doomsday um, theories, and they always say that the end's gonna happen at some point, and then it never does, and everyone's just like, oh. And it's like the Illuminati as well. People, um, the Illuminati have supposedly said they were, um, they were predicted that it was going to bomb. There was going to bomb was going off at the 2012 London Oly Olympics. And I was, I was just sitting at my home in well, England, thinking, <laughs> well, you know, if it does happen, then maybe I might believe in that. But it's not going to happen. It's just lots of it's lots of coincidences and things chucked together. You, I mean, the, the amount of information which is on the internet is unlimited. You can, there's going to be stuff out there which links together and seems like some kind of weird coincidence that it could be some greater power, but it's not. It's, it's really not. And when nothing happened at the 2012 Olympics and it was quite a successful Olympics for Americans and British alike and Chinese. <laughs> but the Chinese are always up there and normally win it most of the time. But that's because they have a large population. They have a fuck ton of athletes. Um, so and nothing bad happened. So you know, it's just more things which have been said are going to happen. And I, I think this, what every, for my experience, everything which has happened is going to be the same in 2012. It's going to come 21st of December. I'm going to be sitting in my room or wherever I am, and just, I'm just going to be, I'm maybe. You do get a tiny bit nervous thinking, shit, what if it is right? But then nothing happens, and, you know, <laughs> then you just think, why do people get so worked up about this? Ah, daily views by me. Anyway, shall we start talking about Daisy and apocalyptic doomsday ideas and theories and what's happened in the past? And this looks like some kind of. I wouldn't say, would I say a military base? Not really a military base, but it could have something. I was going to check my map, but then I remembered I don't have a map. Or do I? No, I don't. No idea where I am. Probably a lot of zombies around there. So, I'll take my project. 